right on the heels of Deuce Kooky Ballet Theater, called and said, you know, would I make a piece for Baryshnikov? Baryshnikov was one of the leading male classical dancers of the 20th century. The guy was phenomenal. He was a huge star in Russia, and he just defected, and he hadn't performed in this country yet. I remember running into Alvin Ailey in, a, in one of the elevators somewhere in some dance building, and Alvin said, she just looked at me and said, you're going to write a piece for Baryshnikov. You're crazy. You're going to be eaten alive. There was pressure. It was a big deal in the dance world. There are huge expectations on the part of the audience as to what he should be doing for them. He'd seen me dance before we started to work, which I thought was important because that's what I was going to push him towards. Okay. Well, the costume for Swan Lake, so that would be good too. Yeah. <laughs> I had to be able to evolved for him a vocabulary that enfolded some of this kind of, let's just for lack of a better word, call it slouch. It's a totally different kind of placement from the classical ballet. And he was all in to, to try to do that. You do like improvisation the whole time? No, not yet. That is not improvisation. I mean, exactly. Okay, exactly. Okay. Was there any difficulty that you had from adjusting from a classical style to? It's not easy, I think, in for dancers who, who know uh, perfectly modern dance. Yeah? Uh, because, so, so, Okay, let's this way. This moment it's not uh, natural for me because I uh, I born in Russia, you know. <laughs> Misha had just come to this country and he was displaced. He's Russian. They're together. I took a gamble and I opened him in a totally unexpected way with him doing a kind of He's got. Once again, work became Robin's lifeline. He was helped in his recovery by his abiding love for the music of Chopin and by the talents of two virtuoso dancers new to him, Natalia Makarova and Mikhail Baryshnikov. Turn back. There he is. Yes. Okay. Talent is really a gift from nowhere, Robbins wrote, alighting on some poor slob in spite of himself. But if you've got it, doesn't mean it will... He was 24 years old.
course. And in the first few months I rehearsed, you know, with him, all those ballets, Prodigal Son, the Rubies, and then Teen Soldier, and then all that repertoire which I danced. It was really experience of a lifetime. When he was in charge of rehearsals, he was very demanding towards details, musicality, accents, your uh, relationship with the partner, especially when you dance with a ballerina. He always cherished the cavalier attitude towards ballerina. And that was very, very important for him. He was a true gentleman in this sense. After the performance, I was lucky to get, I mean, sometimes uh, a good review from him, and it was just one word, and he just opened your dressing room and said, excellent. 